Hi there, this is Lisa Schulteis with Electroline Marketing, and I am so excited today to share with you one of the newest release features from Infusionsoft. I have had the pr privilege of testing this um, in beta for the last couple of months, since about mid-November, and have loved working in it and am so excited that they were able to release it to everybody today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the new email builder. Now this is available currently only in the email broadcast. It will be coming to the campaign builder, but as of today it's only been released into the email broadcast. It is still in beta and they want everybody to test it out and give them some feedback um, before they put it in campaign builder. But if I go into email and broadcast, you'll see over here on the right side the new email builder. Take it for a spin. We'll go ahead and click there. And the first thing you're going to notice is templates. And as soon as my screen updates here, it's always a little slower when I'm recording. There we go. There are currently 12 templates in the email broadcast builder. And as I scroll through these, you'll see some of the different templates. So we have sales. We have downloads, we have announcements, and you'll see that they look very different um, than some of the other temp or other um, things you're able to do in the previous builder. So very, very different, v a lot of different looks, very visual. Um, you know, look at this newsletter. It has this beautiful header. It has this little section with an image next to it, social media up here on top, another section below it. So a lot that you can do with this. And so let me go ahead. We're just going to pick one here. And um, let's go ahead and, and pick this newsletter. And you'll see that there's two options here. One is preview, one is use template. If I preview this, I hope you're ready. It's mobile responsive. Everybody cheer. So it will give you a preview of what it's going to look like on the phone or what it's going to look like on a temp or on a tablet. And you can actually see that as you're building it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use template here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and enter our subject line here. I'll just put in to test newsletter. Um, as always, you can add a merge field. If you want to you know, add in a first name or some other field into the subject line to increase open rates, it has my from address. For recipients, I can add tags. I can add save searches. Um, this is my sandbox app, so we'll try to remember what's in here. I think I've got some people in the dog bite, maybe. No, nope, I don't, but we'll go ahead and add them in here. It will show you how many people are actually in this tag. Um, so that you know how many people are going to be getting your newsletter. So we'll go ahead and move on and, and click the next button because I have so much to show you. I'm so very excited here. All right, so as soon as my screen updates, there we go. All right, so you will see on the right side here in just a moment a preview of the newsletter. And then on the left side, we have our design and block options. So I can scroll through. This is a beautiful layout as it is. I have different section headers. I have dividers. I have this nice header. I've got some social up here. So let's say for whatever reason I don't like the header image and I want to switch this out. So I can go ahead and click on that. And you'll see I have a little garbage can that will pop up that I can use to delete it. Or I can just go over here and say change image. And let's see, let's go ahead and pick, let's try this one, we'll see what we think. Okay, so I have this picture here, and one of the beauties in this is you can automatically resize your images. So if I go over here to this little drag bar, now watch my header image as I drag this bar to the right, actually the left. <laughs> you'll see it's automatically resizing and getting smaller and the other sections are moving with it. And when I bring it back to the right, it automatically resizes it and fills the space. So very excited about that. I can make that image clickable to my website. I can add a tag. So if somebody clicks on an image, I can go ahead and tag them based on their behavior. I can add alt text to the image and I can also 
affect its alignment, either left, center, or right justified. So that image, I think, looks pretty good. It's my colors. I think we're good to go there. Um, but again, super easy to change that out if I want to. So let's look down here at the section header, at this image, and let's say for whatever reason I don't like the font. So I'm going to go to design here. Let me close this little window. And let's say I want to add some color to that header. Um, let's see here. I think, let's see, what kind of colors do we have? I've got some green in here. That's not the right green. My green's a little bit more yellow. So I'll just drag this and play with it a little bit. That's a little bit better. And I'm going to hit OK. And then let's say I want my font to be... Well, that's a pretty good size for the font, 14, 14 for the font. I can read that. Maybe for my headers, I want them to be in a different font. So I'll go ahead and click on this and drop it down. And maybe I want it to be in Merryweather. So you'll see it just changed my header to Merryweather. I actually think I like the Helvetica better. Uh, but I can play with it here a little bit. Palatino, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of different. And so very, very easy. I can change my hyperlink color. I can change my background colors, all kinds of colors on my email. All right, so let's say I, I, I like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep my image here. Uh, I'll keep my divider. But let's say down here I actually don't need some of this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these. Oh, well, look at that. I hope you were watching. Did you see what happened? When I deleted the section next to it, my picture automatically resized to fill up that space. So you don't have to worry about that anymore in terms of, of moving things around or anything like that. So I'm going to do it again here. So if I take this picture out, you will watch. You'll see that my text now takes up this entire space. So very, very easy to manipulate things. So let's say I have, um, you know, I want to maybe put my, my, you know, text around. I can drag my, my different sections around. I can go ahead and, and change out my photos. And there's some other blocks over here as well. So let's say I want to go ahead and um, market two products I have. So I have two images. I'm going to drag these over. I'll put one down here, and let's make that this one. And I want that to be full size, and I'll show you why. Because now I'm going to bring over a second image next to it. And I want it to be on the right side. And that one's going to be this one. And now, as you can see, I, I actually probably didn't want that first image to be full size. So we'll make that one 86. We'll make this one 86. Now I know my two images are the full same size. So I could do an introduction here and say new products. And then I can go ahead and discuss those project products. And then I have my product images right below that. And then maybe I actually want to give them the opportunity to purchase those products. So guess what I can do? I can bu put buttons down here. And I can say, buy now. And I think I need my button color to be orange. See, oh, not that orange, though. Maybe that orange. And let's see, I need a second button because I have two products. So I'm going to go ahead and pull over this other one and put it to the side. We'll move that here in just a second. Whoops, I also have to spell correctly. Make that orange as well. And as you can see, I can put in the URL where I want it to go, I can tag them based on their click behavior, change the orientation of it. And so if I go ahead and move this over here, I'm going to get these next to each other. There we go. So now I have my two Buy Now buttons. Now those buttons are really close to these two images. And actually, I'm not sure if I totally love the orange underneath. But let's, let's put some space in between them. 
um, just to give them a little bit more space. And again, we have our magic pull bar here. So I can adjust the space that I'm doing. So super, super easy for us to go ahead and include things, delete things, take things out. Um, you have blocks over here. There's more to come, but there's a video block. Social, we have that up here. And you can actually go ahead and, and add in some additional ones. So if you have a Pinterest account, LinkedIn, um, Google+, things like that, you can go ahead and add those in as well. We have our button we discussed, images we discussed, text, spacer, dividers. You can see the dividers here. The only one I didn't talk about was group. So let me go ahead and move this down here. I'm going to drag the group down here to the bottom. And you'll see what it does when my computer behaves. Sorry, it doesn't like screen share sometimes. What it does is it adds in a group of an image, text, and a button. So if you know that you're putting all three together, it's very, very easy to bring that in. So just imagine for these, if I had my image here, I had a little bit of text explaining exactly what that WordPress training was, and then I had my Buy Now button. Very, very easy. And if I have two of these, just like up here, I can very easily pull in the second one, and it will auto resize it. And I have both of my images here and my groups here and can go ahead and customize that. So that's kind of the email builder in a quick snap. I think it looks pretty good here. I can go ahead and click the next button and then it will do a final check for me. And it will say, yes, I have a newsletter subject line. I have a from. Wait, I don't have any recipients, so I have to go fix that. And it will also confirm that I have a low spam score. You'll see that because I have a red X here, my send button is grayed out. Once I resolve that and I get people in here, this send button will be bright blue. And I can also schedule this to send it later. So I can go ahead and set my time, set my date, and go ahead and click schedule as soon as I resolve my recipient issue. So that's it. I hope you are as excited as I am about this. I'm very, very excited to see this come through. Um, I hope that you will go in and play around with it, play with some of the templates. Um, any emails that you send will go into this previous emails area. Any drafts that you have, so for example, that one I just made is, is going to show in my drafts. And so I hope that you will go ahead, play with it a little bit, and then give them some feedback. And give me some feedback too. Put some uh, you know, notes in the comments below, either here on, on the YouTube channel or on my blog where this will also be posted. And I would love to hear what you think about the new email builder. Thanks and have a great day.